Okay, we're looking at our um, first set of Lewis structures on the lab. All right, so starting here with uh, CH4. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more detail on here. But carbon has four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one. This will give us a grand total of eight valence electrons. And we arrange our atoms in space with our bonds. We use up all of our electrons. All right, so um, that gives us our acceptable Lewis structure. And if we uh, go and check our formal charges, any hydrogen with a single bond is going to have a formal charge of zero. And any carbon that has four bonds would also have a formal charge of zero. So, got a shape of AX4 which is also referred to as tetrahedral. Um, is this polar? No. Um, since it's AX4 and all those hydrogens are coming off that central carbon, we're going to have all that symmetry there. It's going to cancel that out. And also if resonance, it's a no because there's no double bond or uh, electrons that would move around. All right, second one. We have carbon again hydrogen again, and chlorine that has seven valence electrons. Let's see. They give us 20 valence electrons. So I'm going to actually draw mine with the chlorines across in space, and then the hydrogens up. That's taking care of putting out eight electrons. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Um, we still have zero formal charge on hydrogen and we still have a zero on carbon and any chlorine with a single bond and six lone pairs would also have a formal charge of zero so this just like the previous one is AX4 and it is tetrahedral uh, but this one is polar even though I have the chlorine drawn across from each other, they're actually not. This being that tetrahedral shape, they're at the um, two of the four corners of the tetrahedral, um, creating a slight polarity. And there's no resonance uh, simply because there's no double bonds again. All right, CH4O. be 12 valence electrons. So I'm going to connect the C and the O. have one H coming off of the O and three coming off the H. You'll find it's the only way we can do this molecule and get the uh, formal charges as low as possible. Alright, that takes care of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And that brings us up to our um, 12. Actually, that's 14 valence electrons, isn't it? All right, so um, carbons and hydrogens still have zero formal charge. The only thing new is oxygen, but any oxygen with two bonds and two pairs of electrons would also have a formal charge of zero. Now, we kind of have two shapes here. Around the carbon, it's still AX4, tetrahedral. Yeah ran out of space. Around the O, it's AX2E2, and that is bent. And simply because we have an AX2E2 molecule, this is a polar molecule. because There's no way that that bent would ever cancel out. Um, still no resonance because there's no double bonds. All right, H2O, one valence electrons, six valence electrons, grand total of eight. So I'm going to put my O's and my H's to look something like this. Um, we have a bent or AX2E2 structure. Um, formal charges are all zeros. Um, it is polar because it is AX2E2 and there is no resonance structures. Um, I rushed through that one. We've seen H2O plenty of times. All right. H3O, though, 
adds a little bit of complexity to it because the positive means we remove an electron. So this is also eight. We arrange this in space. We'll surround the oxygens with hydrogens. And then put two more right there on the oxygen. All right, I'm going to have to put this in brackets and put a positive on it. Um, when I check my formal charges, an oxygen with three bonds and two lone pairs has a formal charge of one. But that's perfectly acceptable that we have a one here. We would expect that because it does have a positive charge. Our shape is AX3E or trigonal pyramid. And all trigonal pyramids are polar. Um, but there's no resonance here because we don't have any pi bonds or double bonds moving around. All right, last one on this page. H and F are just going to have a single line with all the extra electrons on the flooring. It's really two items, so it doesn't really have a shape. It's linear, but that's not linear, linear geometry because neither one of those is a central atom. Hydrogen still has a zero formal charge. Fluorine, when it has six dots and one bond, will have a formal charge of zero. This is polar because there is a definite electronegativity difference between a fluorine and a hydrogen, but it does not have any resonance.